Isaiah, congrats on the win tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We've got a couple hands up for you already, so we'll roll with questions. First uh, is Mike. Isaiah, congrats on the win, man. Um, you've been around here a few years now, so just very basically, what does this win, uh, not just against the top 10 team, but against Clemson mean for you and mean for this program right now? It's huge, uh, definitely huge to be a team like that. Um, that has been, like I said earlier in the week, the standard uh, in our conference, in our league um, for the last few years. Uh, to come out with a win like that um, is definitely huge for, for our team. It's huge for the program moving forward. Um, so like it really puts us um, in a place we want to be. Jonas, go ahead. Isaiah, um, in the celebration, uh, after talking to Simon Messi, said Coach Dorn has some tears in his eyes when he's celebrating on the field. I'm sure he's probably emotional and excited in the locker room. Um, have you ever seen him like that? And what was it like just to see him let his guard down and be so emotional after a win like that? Yeah, he uh, he does a great job of staying uh, stoic as much as possible, you know, staying uh, even killed as much as possible. So the, anytime he shows emotion, uh, it's definitely a real situation, and we definitely felt it. Um, it's definitely a great moment um, to see him, uh, you know, share that emotion with us, uh, and we gave it right back to him. Brett, you can go ahead. Isaiah, a coach has preached all along from the beginning of camp about the maturity of this team. How much did that kick in, especially at the end there? And I know you weren't around here in 2016. You've been around a long time, but not that long. Were you guys aware of what happened in there? And, and were there any flashbacks to, to that? Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't here in 2016, but I, I remember watching it from home. And, um, you know, as soon as we went in overtime, I looked at uh, the captains, Grant Leary and uh, Drake, and I said, yeah, not, not again. We're going to win it. We're going to win it this time. Um, and we believed that. And um, just the maturity of the team, I, th I think you just saw that through the whole game. I think it was a very up and down game from the start. You know, they came out and scored on the first drive and then defense, we rallied back together and, and got them under control pretty much the entire uh, second half outside of one drive. Um, in the offense, so we, they just responded every time, man. You know, they were getting knocked back and then they were pushing four or five and then they get knocked back in and pushing four or five. I just think you just saw a team that's just not going to quit no matter what happens. And as we preach here, we're not going to quit. And as a defense, especially one that has played so well this year, how much did it, you know, exciting was it to, to have the game on your shoulders and to be able to close it out with, with a defensive play? Oh, that's, that's how we wanted it. That's, that's how we approached um, practice all week, that this game was going to be on us. And so when it came down to it, uh, nobody flinched. Nobody flinched at all. Exactly the way we wanted it. Thanks, Isaiah. All right, Isaiah, that's it for you. Thanks for joining us tonight. And